Hello everyone. Welcome back to programming in python.com. I'm back with another video. Here in this video, I'm going to tell you how to implement the pattern of letter C in Python. In the previous videos, I have told you how to implement pattern of letter A, letter B, and here this is a video on letter C. And I'm going to continue this series until Z. I will print all the letters from A to Z using Python patterns. So let's get started with printing pattern of letter C. So I am in my Python IDE. So before starting this program, I just want to tell you, for any letter, not only this letter C, for any letter, letter A, letter B, letter D, and up to letter Z, we have to keep in mind there are only two conditions. That is, one is to print stars, and another is to print spaces. If I get more particular, I'll just say only one condition. That is to print stars. And all other cases, I'll print spaces. The programming goes like this. First, we'll take the size from the user. We can also give predefined size, but in this case, I am asking the user to enter a size. Suppose a user gives a size of 8. So I'll print 8 stars. This is 8 stars, and I'll print this 8 times. So these are 8 stars and 8 lines. So, suppose, so what I'll do is, I'll print stars and everything. So if I if I print stars uh, for if I give if that if I take the size of eight and I will loop it and print stars in both the loops outer loop and inner loop this will be the this will be the result. So here in this result we will only make some conditions to print stars in only particular cases. Like here we have C. So what I do is we can remove all this and we will print stars here in each line like this. So that means all the other stars here will be printed as spaces and also some conditions like uh, to make it more reasonable like I'll just uh, make this as also a space the first uh, the first star in the first line the last star in the first and the first star in the last line and also increase this size to make it more reasonable so this looks like a more reasonable C so that is the condition here I'll just print stars I'll just write condition for stars so that was specifically for first line for last line for first column and then and then some conditions to remove uh, stars from the first line and last line starting positions so let's get started let me comment this because when I run this program it will show as an error if I keep it like this so I have commented it so now let's start the program so first I will ask the user to enter size input so I should uh, cast this to integer so I have cast this to integer and also just for making this uh, all the patterns look more reasonable I will only allow sizes which are greater than 7 if size is greater than 7 I will call a function I mean if this should be if if num is greater than 7, I'll call a function called print pattern and I'll pass this uh, num to that pattern and if the size is not greater than 7, I'll just show a message like enter a, letter, enter a size minimum of 8 so this is enter a size minimum of 8 so now let's define this print pattern definition so I'll go here, we call it dev and we should give a parameter which we passed here, I'll call it, I will call it n. So here as I said there will be two loops, one for the outer loop that is for the rows and one for the columns. So the outer loop I'll call it as i for, for i in range n and the inner loop for j in range as I said I will also increment the value of this by 2 and add plus 2 so that these stars will have more in number than these stars suppose uh, for if I give 8 uh, as the number it will have 10 stars here and 8 stars in this column like this so that's the reason why I added plus 2 here so that it looks more reasonable just instead of just being a square like thing so now I will make conditions for printing stars. So for the first line, that is pretty simple. I will write for i equal to 0. Equal to 0, I will print stars. 
and also guys if you see that after star we are uh, uh, yeah, uh, entering the star next to it we enter the star next to it instead of going to the next line we are entering next to it so that means we have to also specify the end by default uh, the end is next line we need to explicitly specify that and equal to this so that it won't go to the next line so it's if not for if i equal to equal to we'll print star so and for after first for loop we'll print uh, just empty print we'll just use a print statement so that it goes to the next line that means after printing all these starts it should go to the next line so that that is for that so if i now so now if i run this program and see we'll just see the first line enter size twice asking twice so you can see it it's pending the first line i don't know why it's asked twice okay i have entered twice here okay i'll just move on so so if you see the result so if you see the result it's it's showing the first line similarly i pinned the last line this is condition for first line or n minus 1 that means it will print the last line now you can see we got the last line so now for condition like uh, the first column i'll tell i'll tell j equal to equal to zero that means the column first column if i run this if i run this and give a size of eight you can see we have already got the c the basic c we got the first line last line on the first column so now i'll try to make it more reasonable by removing this star from the first line and this star from the last line so let's do that now so for that we have to make some conditions like if you see this is here so here in the first uh, line we have to make a condition in the last line i mean first line and last line we have to remove this star now also in the first column we need to check the condition to remove this star so what i'll do is uh, this is for the first line and last line and i'll make a n condition here uh, because in this first line and last line we need to remove the starting so what i'll do is i'll group these two these two into one and i will make another end statement that is j should be greater than zero and i will uh, group all these conditions as together this these conditions so this will have one condition this will ensure us that we don't have starts in the heat the first portion of the first line, the first portion of the last line. And similarly, we also make to and similarly you also need to make a condition for the column. Like the column also prints this star. So we also need to make condition for the column. So here also I'll make an end condition. And I'll make this condition for and I'll group these two conditions together. So these conditions ensure ensures us to and choose us not to print stars at the first position so this line is a bit clumsy i'll just make it more reasonable format this whole if condition and i'll add some comments so that it will be more readable and understandable this is the loop for outer loop this is the loop for inner loop n plus 3 and this is for first line i equal to equal 0 and i equal to n minus 1 and this is for more reasonable curve condition and this is for first column so let me just run this program and see now just print size 8 and you can see a reasonable c now i'll run again and i'll do different size of 12 you can see this is a good c, good looking c now so that's it guys this is the basic program on how on how to print a pattern of letter c the conditions will be same for all the letters like for letter A, letter B, letter D, letter Z as I said earlier. So this is the condition for letter C. So by doing this, uh, this type of programs help us to improve our thinking capability. Like these are simple programs but by doing, uh, by thinking on the conditions like way to keep this 
stuff where to print this space for the for making those conditions we we make this logical conditions right like uh, this or conditions and condition combination of them that thinking would, would improve that would be helpful for us in any in different in many other ways uh that's it for the program i'll be continuing until that so stay tuned for that hope you like the video guys if you like it please consider subscribing to the channel programming in python.com also give a big like on the video also feel free to share with your friends who might be benefited with this python tutorials on this channel also guys i want to share with you something if you want to make your fundamentals strong in python programming i advise you to take a course fundamentals in python programming the link will be in the description so look for the link in the description fundamentals in python programming so take the course and get strong in fundamentals of python programming so that's it for this video stay tuned for more videos for programming in python.com also stay tuned for the continuation of this pattern series this is letter c and i will go up to letter z and also there will be other series going on like one is going on the algorithms or uh, one is also going on the patterns not the letters but different patterns like triangle Freud's triangle and all that and also on algorithms searching sorting algorithms and this is on letter pattern so all this series is really parallelly going on so make sure you are subscribed to this channel for all the updates so that's it for this video guys stay tuned for more videos on programming in python.com see you in the next video bye bye